Hi, I'm Derek Bisson, and today we're gonna to talk about combo financing. Combo financing is little more than two different mortgages closing on the same day. So the purchase price of the new home is split up into three different ways. Number one is your down payment. Number two is a 30 year fixed rate conventional mortgage. And number three is a home equity line of credit. So why would anybody do this? Why would you uh, split up your financing in this way at all? Well, as it turns out in several different situations, this can have some pretty good advantages for you. Let's take a look at the top three. So the first, is avoiding jumbo financing. Jumbo financing is simply any loan that exceeds the conventional loan size limit in a given area. For most areas of Florida, that currently means anything over the dollar amount of $510,400. So here's how it benefits you. Easier qualification standards. Jumbo financing can be notorious for being a lot more challenging to qualify for than a conventional loan. So the combo loan makes the entire approval process go a lot easier and a lot smoother. By the way, with our combo loan, the underwriting standards for both loans, both the, the fixed rate conventional loan and the home equity line of credit are the same, uh, which is a lot different than Jumbo. So if you meet the approval criteria for the conventional loan, then you'll most likely be approved for the combo of both loans. The second advantage is that you get fixed interest rates for the majority of your financing. Jumbo loans tend to offer only adjustable rate or ARM loans, but with our combo, the majority of your financing is at a fixed rate. The home equity line of credit, yes, does have an adjustable interest rate, but that's at a much lower portion of your financing overall, so that if the interest rate of the home equity line does rise a bit, your overall housing payment likely won't move too much you get lower interest rates. You can generally get a much lower interest rate on a conventional loan versus a jumbo loan. And again, it's fixed and not an adjustable rate mortgage as well. And finally, you get a lower down payment requirement. Many jumbo loans require a down payment of 20% or more. So with a combo, you can put down as little as 10% and not have to pay any PMI or private mortgage insurance. Let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we have a purchase price of $750,000. We're gonna split the financing up into three different ways, starting with your down payment of 10%, in this case, $75,000. And then the financing will be split into two loans. The first will fill the conventional loan all the way up to the conventional loan limit of $510,400. In this case, that's 68% of the purchase price. Then we'll originate a home equity line of credit of 164,600, in this case, 22% of the purchase price. So 68 plus 22 plus 10 equals 100% of the purchase price of $750,000. And there you have it. You've just bought a jumbo home loan with only 10% down and no mortgage insurance. So now in our next example, let's look at how combo financing can make buying a condo a lot easier. So buying a condo is different than buying any other type of real estate. When you're buying a condo with conventional financing, of course, you have to qualify for the loan. But guess what? So does the condo association. So when the amount of the first mortgage loan is greater than 75% of the purchase price, then the condominium has to go through a rather rigorous and time-consuming process called a full review. A full review can involve the association having to provide uh, hundreds or even thousands of pages of documents to the lender for approval. The process can take several weeks and one small detail in those hundreds or thousands of pages can often be a reason for a loan denial. So here's where combo financing makes it easier. If the amount of the first new loan is equal to or less than 75% of the purchase price, again, this is the key of the first loan equal or less than 75% of the purchase price, then the condominium's approval is now based on a short one to two page survey that's completed by the condo association. This is called a limited review. This makes it faster and easier for the condo to qualify without all that red tape. By the way, easier for them makes it easier for you because the loan approval will go a lot faster and smoother. Sometimes getting a limited review can mean the difference between a loan approval and a loan denial. So let's look at an example. So we've got a condominium priced at $350,000. So we're gonna take your 10% down payment or $35,000. Now we're gonna split the financing 
is uh, for 75%, remember the key is 75% of the purchase price. The first new loan will be a conventional 30 year fixed rate loan of $262,500. Then behind that, will originate a home equity line of credit equal to 15% or $52,500. So 75 plus 15 plus 10 equals 100% of the purchase price. And there you have it. You've just bought a condo with a limited review with only a 10% down payment. Now the next example, we're gonna learn how to use combo financing to avoid paying PMI or private mortgage insurance. When you buy a home with less than 20% down payment on a conventional loan, you've gotta pay something called private mortgage insurance or PMI. But using our combo financing, we can put down as little as 10% and not have to pay PMI. Here's how that works. So in this example, we've got a home priced at $250,000. So first off, we've got your 10% down payment or $25,000. Then we split the financing up 80 and 10. So 80% is $200,000. And that's gonna be in a fixed rate conventional 30 year note. And then we're gonna do a home equity line of credit for the other 10% or $25,000. Again, 80 plus 10 plus 10 equals 100% of the purchase price. And there you've done it. You just bought a home with 10% down and no PMI. So now that we've discussed the advantages of combo financing, let's take a look at one more thing and that's convenience. So on day one, your home equity line of credit is charged up to 100% of the full line. Now, of course, over time, you're gonna wanna be paying down that line against the principal as much as possible. And of course, it has no prepayment penalties or anything like that. So the idea is to chip away at that as fast as possible. So let's just say over time, you start at $30,000 and you've been chipping away, you've been putting a lot of principal down on it, and now you've paid it down to like $15,000, right? You've got a $30,000 line with a $15,000 balance. That means you have another $15,000 available for emergencies. Well, guess what? We live in Florida. We've got these things called hurricanes. And wouldn't it be nice to have that sort of cash available to repair your home? Now, of course, you're probably gonna be insured, but you still have to have the adjuster come over to the house, look at the home, adjust, and of course, wait for the check to arrive. But wouldn't it be nicer if you could tap into that those funds and hire everybody to start fixing your house while you wait for the check? So. Again, it's a convenience factor as well. So we hope you found this helpful. If you'd like more information, check out the area below for a lot more details. And of course, if you're looking to purchase, refinance, or get pre-approved anywhere in the state of Florida, we'd love to help. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.